Born in Yule in 1829, Anna Haslam was an ardent campaigner for social justice during her long life. She founded the Dublin Women's Suffrage Association in 1876 and was a leading figure in the fight to win the right to vote. While living in Rathgar in 1914, she founded the Irish Women's Patrols, a group of women who walked a beat around the inner city centre between the hours of 8.30 and 11pm. They were supported by the Dublin Metropolitan Police. The patrols were designed to prevent immorality as it was feared that separation women wives and other dependents of soldiers in receipt of separation allowance were fueling a rise in licentiousness but they also aimed to introduce women into the police force accounts from iwp members during the war showed that despite the rosy image presented to outsiders life in the city could be bleak and hard for dublin's inhabitants the morals of dublin 163 rathagar road 22nd of January 1918 Dear Sir, owing to the different letters, anonymous and signed, which have appeared in various papers criticising the reports of the Irish Women Patriots Committee, we venture to trouble you with a few words of explanation on the matter. The patrols concern themselves with the streets at night. They endeavour to help respectable girls who find themselves in difficulties they caution those who are giddy. They try to prevent violations of decency by misconduct in thoroughfares and to have persons guilty of such offences arrested. There is, unfortunately, a great deal of open immorality in the Dublin streets. This does not necessarily mean that there is more vice in the city, but it is less concealed than in most other places and so from the point of bad example is worse. Nothing was further from the wish of the committee who drew up the report than to cast any reflection on the young girls of Dublin as a whole. At the same time, it certainly behoves those who have the honour of Dublin at heart to make every endeavour to put an end to the scandal in our midst. The dirty condition of our streets would also be remedied if a section of the community would avail themselves of the sanitary accommodation provided by the corporation. As things are, public health is seriously menaced and would be more so but for the coolness of our climate and the frequent rains. Anna Haslam, Mary Hayden, Joint Presidents.